we're going to roll into our afternoon driver media availability here at Pocono Raceway. We've got our two-time defending NASCAR Camping World Truck Series champion has joined us. That's Matt Crafton. He's the driver of the number 88 Chi Chi's Menards Toyota. And uh, Matt, it's good to see you. Talk about uh, maybe your outlook here at uh, at Pocono, uh, coming off of Eldora about 10 days ago, and and uh, you know you you've got that points lead, but you got some people breathing down your neck. So just talk about your outlook here today at Pocono. I just go into uh, are we on? Mm -hmm. Just go into this race just like we do each and every race. Just go to try to lead laps and put ourselves in position to win. <clears throat> we haven't really honestly looked at points. The only time we ever look at points is when people talk to us about it and that's been our mentality for the last two years what me and junior live and die by uh i always like coming here it's a lot of fun to race at this racetrack and i know the trucks always put on a really good show at the end of the at the end of the race gets really really wild so hopefully we can put on a good one tomorrow questions now for matt we've got two young ladies here with the mics we'll start right here with my man kyle Kyle Magda, Wilkesbury Times leader, Matt. Uh, just talk about the points battle between you, Tyler Reddick, and Eric Jones. It looks like it's the three of you right now. Um, also from Eldora, I mean, what was the most you took out of that race? I know you were in the top five for most of the race before falling back to ninth in the end. I uh, just like I said a little while ago, I, I don't look at the points. I mean, we used to go and race each race, and like I said, just look at the following race and just race it and try to lead laps and win the race. And at that point, if you win the race, you get max points. So. Uh, that's just our mentality. It's been the first year we points race from the first championship. Last year, me and Junior made the promise to each other we weren't going to points race last year, and we didn't. We got to Homestead and looked at it, and, okay, we're here. We knew we were because that's what your guys' job is, to bring it up to us each and every week. But uh, that's just something we just go and try to focus on. Eldora was a lot of fun. Um, definitely didn't end up as well as we ran all day just had a bad call on restart uh, we were running third and they said we were fourth on the lineup and just got uh the outside line was not the preferred line once you got back because everybody did slide jobs and they just slid up into me and i was just i mean sitting duck at that point go ahead chris chris nightcatchfans.com matt uh this weekend pretty cool deal it's your 350th nascar came from World truck series start Still looking to get your first win at Pocono. Toyota still looking for their first win at Pocono. Triad still looking for their first win at Pocono. And Thorosport looking for their first win at Pocono. How cool would it be to do that in your 350 start? Oh, it's really cool. Uh, somebody brought that up to me a little while ago and um, had to bring up how old I was running 350 truck races. But uh, shoot back there in the back. <laughs> That's what the PR is supposed to, <laughs> department is supposed to do. But anyways, uh, it'd be very cool to be at get Toyota and Duke and Ronda Thorson and, and Triad. Uh, one of the really cool things is Triad this year. Um, they, we thought we were 199 races wins, but we actually had 99 going into Daytona, and I won them their 100th race at Atlanta, and now I think we're on our 103rd win for Triad. So that was a very, very cool milestone that we passed there for Triad. Other questions for Matt? Let's go back to Kyle right there. Matt, you have four wins this season on mile and a half tracks. Is there just something you like about them? Uh, you just keep winning. And uh, um, what, what what do you think of Pocono Raceway? We've been here for six years already, or five years, six races. Uh, what's your thoughts of the track, and also you finishing third there in your first ever start? Yeah, we. Uh, I think I've gotten worse ever since the, the first time I came here, and we finished third, and I've kind of gotten worse each and every time. But I, I really haven't gotten worse. It's just it's wild at the end. I think we had a top five truck here last year, and just had a bad restart, and I got hung on the bottom of a, a four wide deal, and I had to check up getting in the tunnel turn, and and lost a ton of spots. Had a really bad finish there. I love racing here. It's a lot of fun to go around this place. It's super fast and it's just a momentum thing because the trucks have so much drag and they don't have as much power as the cup cars. So each and every time I come here, I, I smile every lap. Other questions for Matt? Anybody else? <clears throat> Stu? Hey Matt, uh, Stu Hoda, I'm NASCAR.com. Um, could you maybe talk about Kyle Busch coming back to the series uh, this week? Um, Brad Keselowski, Austin Dillon, Kevin Harvick in this race as well. Um, <laughs> obviously, you're competing for the championship and getting your first win, as, as Chris said, here at Pocono. But could you talk about them coming uh, into this race? I didn't know they were racing. Um, 
I mean, it's it's really cool to see the Cup guys come around the Truck Series. I wish more of them would. I mean, it always helps the Camp World Truck Series to get some of the Cup guys down here. And for the regular truck guys like myself, we love to go race against them because they're great race car drivers. They get to do it, I mean, a lot more than we do. We get 23 races a year, and I mean, Kyle and Kevin and Austin, all those guys get to run all the nationwide races and Cup races. So they're definitely very good at what they do because they get so much seat time and it, it's very good for the series, and I wish they ran more of them. Any other questions for Matt? Right over here, Candace. Hi, Matt. Candace Smith drafting the circuits. I was a little late, so I apologize if this was asked, but we saw Tyler Reddick in here earlier, and he said, you know, hey, I'm pretty good at one and a half milers, and yeah, he's running his championship race as best he can. As somebody who's now got two in, in the row, do you feel a little less pressure? Is there more pressure? Do you not think about that championship until the end? Is it every race that comes one at a time? How do you You hit the nail on off? the head. Yeah. You just look at them each and every week is, is one race and just go out and lead the most laps. I answered that a little while ago, but like I said, I'm, I'm just repeating it. Like I said, we go out and race each race and go out to win and don't worry about points. And if we win the race, we get max points. If not, we didn't. So uh, that's just the way our, me and Junior, my crew chief, our mentality is. You're welcome. No problem. Anybody else? Final question. Front row here. Excuse me, sir. Chris Knight, .com again. 60 lap race tomorrow. Too short? Too short? Yeah, is that the, that the rapper too short? Yeah. That's like Anyways, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah it's, <laughs> it's too short for sure. Um, I wish it was a little bit longer. It's... Hopefully I don't fall out of the seat and get tired in that 60 laps. But I, I would I would love for it to be 100 laps. As I said, there'd be a little bit more strategy. And I said, you definitely see a little better race for sure. Matt Crafton, thank you for coming in here. Good luck this weekend at Pocono. Thank you.